Hi guys, it is Loy and Kai. So Homie wanted to join me today, so I guess he can hold stuff and ask <laughs> questions. Fist bumps. Booyah. So in my last video, I was talking about. You're supposed to hold. Oh yeah. Uh, okay, so I was talking about doo -doo, Shiva paint sticks. So the artist paint sticks are an oil-based product and they're really cool to work with, but the doozy is trying to clean your brushes afterwards. So I used a couple stencil brushes and as you notice, the stencil brushes are the ones with the short fat bristles. Definitely don't try to use longer brushes with these Shiva Artist paint sticks. But what happens is because it's oil paint, it's not water-based like acrylic and watercolor, so it takes a lot longer to clean, right? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple different cleaning products and the first one that we're gonna talk about is... I think so. All right, pink soap is made by Speedball, and I absolutely love Speedball products, but the pink soap kind of sucks, right? Well, what else does Speedball make? Uh, Speedball makes stuff for calligraphy and stuff for screen printing, and I absolutely love those products. But in terms of this brush cleaner, not too cute. You can barely use it to wash your hand. So even the watercolor and the acrylic is just not very effective. So I use it, but um, I really don't depend on this product too tough. And the other thing is, Bre is it is it called the Marleys? <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Marleys. Oh, it's the <laughs> It's the master's <laughs> brush cleaner, right? So I love this product. It is very awesome. So he's going to open it so you can see what it looks like inside. The master's brush cleaner works for oil. It works for watercolor. And it also works for acrylic. If you notice, the canister is almost empty. I love it. It's very, very effective. It looks like and frosting. Yeah, it kind of looks like buttercream frosting or butter or, yeah. And it kind of has that consistency too, like like soft butter. It's an awesome product and, Feels yeah. Hard. <laughs> it's an awesome, yeah, but then you put like a little bit of water and you swish it around and that's where you clean the brushes. It's also a brush preserver it's too, slimy. so. It's very, like, feel it. Like, it's slimy, but it's hard at the same time. Yeah, because it that's was kind of wet and... It's a brush preserver, so what happens is when I wash my brushes, if I'm not going to use them immediately after, I leave that mixture of the cleaner and water in the brush because it kind of just keeps the, the bristles nice and until it's time to use them again. So I love that product. Again, it's not the Marley's. <laughs> it's, the Masters. it's the Masters. It's a brush cleaner and preserver. And people who use makeup brushes a lot too, always uh, use this because it cleans makeup out of brushes very well too. So back recap. to the oil cleaner. Oh. No, not a recap yet. So back to the cleaning the oil paint from the brushes. If you can see, that's Uncle Bob right there, Bob Ross. If you know who Uncle Bob is, uh, massive big up to you. I grew up watching him paint on TV, right? With the happy little trees. <laughs> so the Bob Ross odorless thinner is really good for cleaning out oil paint. So what I do is I put a little bit in a bottle and it's kind of cloudy now because I was cleaning some brushes, but after a while, the sediment from the paint or the paint residue, it will kind of settle to the bottom and you can keep reusing this. Obviously, if you're using bigger brushes, you need to use a bigger glass or container, but I just put the little stencil brushes in there and then once it settles, you can just keep using it over and over again. This product is awesome because it doesn't smell and it's very effective, so once you put the brushes in there you have to keep like smush 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 uh to get them to clean up but it does like a really awesome job these were like clogged with the shiva paint sticks yesterday and just, as you can see they're absolutely clear so those are the things i think i just got some on my hand but anyway it doesn't smell it's odorless but it's also combustible so it has chemical in there yeah so, so it's also combustible you <laughs> 
I know that's like you have to make sure that you wash your hands if you get it on your hands because I don't want to inadvertently light myself on fire. So anyway, that is what I wanted to share with you today. If you're using any of the oil paint sticks, definitely try the Masters or Uncle Bob's product, uh, Bob Ross, which is the older, less thinner pink soap. Not too much. So. So thank you very much for joining us today. We appreciate your time and presence and we will see you soon. Peace.